Hey guys, it's Troy from Zia Comics. I'm back with another Zia Comics fun fact for you. In Force Awakens, when we meet C-3PO, you see he has a red arm instead of his normal gold one. They don't explain that in the movie, but they do explain it in the comic books. Marvel Comics put out Star Wars C-3PO number one. It was a one-shot that contains the backstory of how C-3PO's left arm became red. The story starts with a resistance ship crashing on an unidentified planet. The reserve tanks didn't jettison on re-entry and ended up blowing up, killing all the humans, Captain Hoff and his whole crew, on the ship. The only survivors were the droids. We are introduced to the six surviving droids. Five of them are resistance droids. One of them is a first order RA-7 protocol droid. This RA-7 protocol droid named Omri supposedly has information on General Akbar's location. The first order is interrogating and will summarily execute General Akbar once they get the information they need. One of the droids detects a distress beacon from a downed First Order TIE Fighter. Their plan is to make their way to that TIE Fighter, change the frequency of the transponder beacon so that they can be rescued. Eventually on the way to this distress beacon, they all meet their demise beside C-3PO and Omri. Omri saves C-3PO, but in the process his left arm did get severed. And of course, as Murphy's Law would have it, they run into some acid rain, just steps away from the distress beacon. They take cover under the wing of a downed aircraft. Uh, that aircraft's wing, the acid rain is starting to dissolve it. They know that they won't have much time left if they don't do something. Omri makes a decision to sacrifice himself to save C-3PO. He transfers the knowledge he has of General Akbar's location to C-3PO so that he may be saved. As a result of being exposed to this acid rain, Omni's outside protective coating is melting away and you can see he was previously primed red. Most of his body is melted or disintegrated except for the left arm, which C-3PO manages to salvage. Likely the distress beacon is picked up and the resistance does save C-3PO. Once aboard the resistance ship, C-3PO takes the salvaged left red arm from Omri and places it upon his own body. Alright guys, I hope you learned something. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to us on YouTube, on our Facebook, on our website, or just search the internet for Zia Comics or Talk Nerdy to Me. We're all over the interwebs. Thanks guys.